Salutations. As is seemingly becoming this channel's modus operandi, since my last several uploads have been of a more controversial bent, I figured I'd cool things off a bit with a slightly more moderate take on something that's only guaranteed to offend around 0.001% of the population rather than 50 to 90%. I should note very quickly before we begin that, though I believe these lessons are applicable in any or all artistic domains in more or less equal measure, I'm going to be applying them predominantly in the context of creative writing, as that is my own personal area of greatest understanding. Now, with that minor disclaimer having been disclaimed, let us get straight on with this thing. Lesson number one. Statistically speaking, chances are you're not as unique or interesting as your mom thinks you are. Now, don't get me wrong, in 99.999% of rooms on planet Earth, a person with genuine artistic talent and ability is going to be the proverbial knife in the spoon drawer. However, if we go by the above assumption that 99.999% of the world's circa 8 billion people are normies, that is, non-creative sorts, then that leaves us with a minimum artistic pool strong enough to fill around 160 football stadiums. And in the age of the Internet, if you want your work to be appreciated by anyone besides your mother, you'll be forced to compete against all of them in order to convince the normie population that they should prioritize your branded stimulus over all the other 15 million things they could be paying attention to right now. Also, as there is no such thing as true originality, every idea, however novel, is always based on something that came before, don't be surprised when somebody looks at the thing you've poured your heart and soul into and goes, so... It's like Harry Potter, but go on, ask me how I know. Lesson number two. Simply being unique does not make you or your creation valuable. Again, I speak from personal experience. One of the biggest problems for me when trying to shop my FPA novel series around is trying to land on that crucial median between making it sound either dull and formulaic or unfathomably esoteric. So far, the best sales pitch I've been able to conjure is that it's like a combination of Harry Potter, Red Wall, and Treasure Planet, only one of which, apparently, more than five other people on the planet have ever even heard of, much less seen. Ah, well, c'est la vie. And lastly, lesson number three. Nobody cares about you, your feelings, or your experiences. While there is no shortage of people both on and off the Internet eager to teach you this lesson, in my own experience, there exists no more expedient method for pulverizing your soul than being an independent creator. Whether you're building custom furniture, making stylized portraits, composing your own songs, writing a novel series, or philosophizing on YouTube, at the end of the day, nobody but you cares whether you're having fun or not. All the audience cares about is whether your content is fun to consume. And just so that we're all on the same wavelength here, this is not me trying to farm sympathy or to try to guilt trip my audience. Honestly, the fact I even have an audience to speak of is still like I've suddenly grown a tale in how strange it is to think about. I'm merely punctuating a demonstrable fact of life with my own personal experience on the matter, that's all. But anyway, that's all I had to say on that. As usual, links to my books and socials and the community poll will all be down in the description for your consideration, and until next time, stay safe. Stay sane, and may your mind's kindling one day meet its cordial spark. Sulek Wahai.